Hi everyone, how y'all doing out there? Um, it's Pam, Tater's mom. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. It's 11.23 here um, on a Saturday night. I lead a very, very exciting life. Um, I'm working on a, making a book, but what I wanted to do first was to um, walk you guys through the hingeless uh, <clears throat> the hingeless thing, the thingy majiggy that holds the paper. I call, I just, that's what I call it. It's actually, um, I believe there's a woman on YouTube who really, I mean, I learned it from her and I kind of, she simplified it. I simplified it a little bit more. Um, because I was having a hard time with everybody else's um, e explanation of um, how to make one. So, <clears throat> I already scored it. You um, begin at the half mark, um, depending on how big your book is now. But you begin by marking it at, um, scoring it at the half, then count three rows, three lines, score that. Then the next two lines are scored at four. So, hold on a minute, let me see where my scoreboard is. Um, Martha Stewart scoreboard. I broke the original score thingy, but I already had something else. Okay, you're scoring it at the beginning very beginning of it, you score it a half. Then you count three. One, two, three, score. And then again, one, two, three, four, score. Then one, two, three, four, and score. Then this next one is three. One, two, and three. Now, and you continue until you get how many ever pages you're going to make. Um, I'm making five, and so that's what that that one is. So what you do is you fold this back because you're not going to use the first part. You're not going to use the other part as well. And at the end, um, try and have a, a half. Um, on there. Um, then what she did and what I do is she folds the third row, the third line back so it's like a fan. Then she take, then you take the very, very first four lined one and you fold it. Now you're going to skip the second fourth line and go straight to the third one and fold it down. So when you push down, you will have a hinge. And that will be your separation for each page. Once you get all of them folded how you want, the best thing to do is take each one and fold them back and forth to loosen it up a little. Now that one won't get folded, it'll get folded under. And take your score and just kind of burnish them each way so that they, the fibers in the paper kind of break up a little bit. Um, now, once you've done that, flip it over. It should look like this. Of course, your pieces are flipped in. And you will take double-sided tape is what I use. Um, I have seen people use glue, but um, I use double-sided tape. <clears throat> and I take 
and because you're going you're going to see it like this when you flip it over flip this half piece back so you can see that it's kind of also fold kind of flipped as well like it would be paper like it would be a hinge as well take and tape where the um where each of the uh, third line is, which would be where you fold it in. And that's going to be where you put your tape. Now, um, once you got your tape on there, kind of um, rub a hand, rub something across it so that it'll um, always for me the first one's a booger and just glue that down and you just do this all the way across to the other side then um, let me get this finished guys um, Did I miss one? You guys got to help me out. I tell you, I sure did. All right, there we go. I didn't even see that one. Just place it down. And then this last one, take it. And there you go. Now flip it back over and there you go. You have your hinges. And you'll be able to do what you need to do. Now, um, of course, I use thin tape for doing the hinges. And for the side, for the um, little half inch marks that are going to be the sides of the paper. They're going to be on the back side. I go ahead and get a, I think this is a half. I'm not sure. And I place it down. Now, people are better at this than me. They actually rip it. I don't because I can't rip it straight. Um, so, place it. down and then what you do you know what I did I have just I deleted my video on my planner I'm gonna have to redo my planner uh, okay so just kind of burnish it and then just take and fold it back. <laughs> then what you're going to do is you're going to put tape all across the back. Because this is going to get put down on your edge um, is going to get put down here but this is the cover so um, so that is how you make a hinge and I hope that helped if you have any questions comments or suggestions or even if you have not subscribed and would like to please hit the red subscribe button and please thumbs up and leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. To all my friends, I'm thankful that you stopped by. Please stop by again. Have a great weekend. Hugs to you all. Bye-bye.